What is up, Nuggets? It's your boy, Killer Pizza, here with a brand new video for all you rascals and rapscallions out there. As of today, I'm on day two of quarantine. It wasn't by choice, it was by force. I uh, apparently work an essential job, and uh, I wasn't feeling too well Tuesday. I worked Monday night. I, uh, I worked second shift, so before... I had to clock in on Tuesday. I just went straight into the office, let everybody know I'm not feeling too well. And uh, on any other given day, I work outside. So, like, this is like a minor cough and cold. But I know we're not really messing around these days with this virus. So I made sure to let them know right away. And I got sent home. Day two into this, I'm going crazy. But luckily, I have plenty of flicks to watch. And uh, with that being said, there was one movie I was looking forward to watching today, which I'm about to. Which kind of relates again, uh, like Shaun of the Dead did, with the quarantine and everything. Uh, that would be 1975's One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, directed by Milo's Foreman, starring Jack Nicholson. Now this is a set I got maybe four or five months ago, and I believe it was released much much earlier than that, like years and years. I think this is almost a 10 year release, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but anyways, I just thought before I throw this in, I'll give you guys a little content and uh, check in with all my subscribers. Make sure everybody's doing all right. Uh, let me know how you're doing in the comments. If you still got to go to work, if you're quarantined, if so, what are you doing? What do you do for work? What are you doing while you're at home? Let me know what's going on, guys. So uh, anyways, I thought this box set was pretty cool. I originally wanted to do a video when I first got it, but I did not. So now is the time. So cool little cover. We got the same hat style going on. I like this uh, artwork on the back as well. This is a movie like uh, I won't lie. I'm not like super young to today to today's standards, but like when I was younger, movies from like the 50s, 60s, 70s never interest me. They just look too old. But like now, the artwork, you know what's what's old becomes new again, and and it. It's almost cooler now. So, uh, I mean, I've always loved this movie regardless. But let me show you guys what comes with this set. So, first of all, comes with this little uh, hardcover booklet. Another cool picture. I really like what they do with this, like, uh, what do you call that? Like, holographic? Like, like how it looked on Pokemon cards, you know? I like how they do that. And so, just a little picture book with stories behind the scenes stuff which this is cool content to get this is like one of the biggest reasons I am a physical media collector because if I had to pay for this film digitally why would I not get all this cool extra stuff so I think it's like I want to say like 54 pages yeah 54 page booklet that came with it then after that we have a set of playing cards, which I haven't opened it yet. I, I mean, I really don't know if I will, because these seem like pretty good cards to have on hand. Just when I play cards, I like to play, I'm from Michigan, so I like to play a lot of Euchre. I like to play Spades, uh, Rummy, all types of stuff, but it makes me wonder, like, should I just get another basic deck of cards to play with and keep these in the package because I'm not really like the type of person who needs to keep things in the package like it's not really about the face value years later like I kind of just buy things I like to like it you know obviously uh different scenarios like the slumber party massacre doll like because I'm not gonna like play with a doll maybe a, a week into quarantine I might who knows but uh <laughs> So then we have the actual movie, so all different uh, cover art on every piece of this, which is pretty cool. Let me go to the back, which just reminds me like how classic this movie is, all these pictures of this. So we got the Blu-ray in here, uh, some little booklets. So one of my favorite things in this set. patient file it's even got the detail of like the wrap around 
So these are really cool. This is a big reason I picked this up in the first place. It's got, uh, yeah, the patient files, all the uh, insane asylum patients, so all the cast and characters, which Christopher Lloyd, how crazy. If anybody else is a Back to the Future fan, like with that military cut. What's this nurse? Nurse, uh, nurse Ratchet, yeah. How could I forget? This is crazy too. Young Danny DeVito, which it's funny how like this came out in 1975. Yeah, everybody looks so different like 10, 15 years later. The Chief. The one and only Mr. Jack Nicholson. Billy Babbitt. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, just kind of wanted to, like I said, keep in touch with everybody that watches my videos. Thought I'd show this uh, little collector set, which great deal, like I said. I got this at Walmart, I think, for 30 bucks. If you're a fan of this movie, definitely worth the buy. And for any other uh, person who's a fan of movies, horror, or any other genre, this is definitely a must-have in your collection. Which uh, rises to another question I wanted to ask you guys. Uh... Would anybody be interested in me doing anything non-horror? Like, I know I have, like, a little bit of wrestling mixed in. But, you know, I want to keep this definitely a horror channel. But I wouldn't mind doing some reviews of some uh, newer movies coming out that aren't horror. Some old comedies. I got a pretty good comedy selection back here. Just a fan of flicks overall. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to pop this in. The old Blu-ray player. The old Xbox One, because it's better than a PlayStation 4. Fuck you, Adrian. Yeah, man, I uh, hope everyone's being safe. Wash your hands, wash your ass, blood, guts, gore. Check you guys next time.